I, I, I got a drop on a Philly nigga. He say he out west. He all hype cause he. Hey, it's Money Morena. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Money Morena and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, it's Emma J Lee here. Excuse my face. I decided tonight not wear makeup for this video, only because what I'm doing, I don't want to like touch my face and then like the makeup gets on my hand and it gets into the hair. I don't want to do any of that. So I'm I bought these two wigs off Amazon and I'm gonna dye them gray. This is the picture I want them to be like. Uh, and this is the 613 all the links to this wig will be in the description box but this is it and when you wet it it gets like super super curly it's so pretty this is a 16 inch so pretty i like how it looks on me but i really want to color it this is the other one i got which is body wave it's giving me more of a straight it's not really giving me body wave but this is really, really nice too. This is a 14 inch. It's like a blonde bob. I really liked how this looked on me too. So I'm gonna dye them both gray and I can't wait to see how they come out. But yeah, this is how they look. I'm also gonna show the dyeing process as well. I'm gonna try them both on. You gotta tell me which one looks best. So this is what I'm using to dye my hair with. This should work. Um, I bought two. I think I have to go buy two more because I have two wigs, so I, I think two per wig is fine. And yeah, so let's get into this video. I'm also gonna show the process of how I dye my hair as well, but I can't wait to see how it turns out. Let's get into it. So for this wig, I'm using a T18 for the Brazilian Curly, and now I'm just pouring it into the bowl. So now I'm adding my developer. It came out super, super thick, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna mix it until I feel like it's mixed enough. I want it to be well mixed. And like I said earlier, I'm using T18 for the curly Brazilian wig. This wig was the hardest to dye for me. I felt like it was like so many parts I missed and it was like not getting through. I don't know if it was like the curler pattern or I wasn't using enough, but it wasn't getting through, but I finally was able to reach every single piece. I ended up having to go buy another pack, another pair of dye for that wig. I also apologize for the camera shaking so much. I didn't even realize it was shaking until I was like watching it back. I was brushing the wig so hard trying to make sure I got in between everything and every piece of hair was covered. So once I was done, I just wrapped it up with some foil. As you can see, like the color started to take place fast. Like you see, it was like already darkening. It's before I even got done, finished placing the dye on the hair. And then I just did the same process over every single part of the hair that I could do it on. I even redid some parts just so I can make sure the dye got in. So I took some of the like the aluminum foil off just to see and this is how it was coming out. It looks like a lilac. It wasn't giving me gray, but it could because it's wet. So I didn't really think too much of it. On to the next wig. Here is the T10 and I'm adding the 30 developer like I did with the T18. And let's get started. This was so much easier to dye compared to the first wig, I swear. Like this one, I didn't really have to like go so hard, but it was just so much easier. I guess cause the curl pattern, it was just so much easier. Yeah. 
So after about 30 minutes, I went back to the first wig, the Brazilian curly wig, and I went over the spots that didn't take. So now I'm going to let this sit for like another 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you guys the results. This is the T10. It still looks the same, but you can little, you can see like the ash. Like it's like an ash gray. It's not as, as bright blonde as it was. It's cute. I think I'm going to keep it like this because this is cute and it looks good on my skin tone. This is cute. So, and no, I did not cut the lace yet, but this is the T18. It is so pretty. This T18 is everything. Yes, it is everything the girls are looking for. Yes, this T18, it's there. And then when I get all dressed up and I cut the lace, I'm going to show y'all how it looks. Bitch, I'm going to look phenomenal. Phenomenal. Look, phenomenal, phenomenal. This is the T10. It's the same hairstyle, it's just not the same color, but I love this color on me. The T18. So let me know which one you like more. I love them both, but let me know which one you like more on me. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.